Armstrong High School students are now banned from attending hockey games for the rest of the season, including the playoffs, and that district is also dealing with an incident involving a transgender student. The girl says she was attacked at the high school. Pam Serrano spoke with her and her mother. This attack against a 14 year old girl is caught on cell phone video by another student. It is difficult to watch and the student's family says not enough is being done to the student who attacked her. Shocking and scary as how 14 year old Willow Andring describes what happened to her during her school day, October 27th at Armstrong Junior Senior High. That's the day a male student attacked her. He pulled me from behind and started like beating me up. And before, before this, he had been calling me names, saying it's not a she, it's not a he, it's a it. Willow suffered a concussion, and she tells her mom the same student that attacked her began verbally assaulting her earlier at lunch. What Willow told me that day was that they were used to the name calling and that they could bear it, but that um, uh, they never thought that this would happen. Heather Andring tells KDKA this absolutely cannot be tolerated, let alone at school. Tonight, she and others in the district asked the school board for tougher consequences for the student and widespread change. You know, the incident with the hockey team and just other things that we've heard from other families, like we really would like to see a change in the culture at the school. Appreciate all of your comments. Uh, on behalf of the board, we are listening. Uh, we are certainly willing uh, to work with the community and the administration uh, to do whatever it takes to be proactive and not reactive to this uh, problem and promote change. We reached out to the Armstrong School District and are still waiting to hear back from them. We're told initially that Manor Township Armstrong County's Police Department responded to this to investigate, still waiting to also hear if any charges will be filed. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.